Just remember, the pen is mightier than the sword, but the Ben is mightier than the lightsaber. I am Ben Heaps, and I will be your judge, scorekeeper, and the voice of absolute authority. And here is your host at Lakeland Live's Studio B, Nick Allred! Well, thanks, Ben. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. We got a really good, uh, good, uh, good, fun show for you guys tonight. Um, words, words are hard to say sometimes. Um, we have a theme show. Our very first theme show is going to be tonight. It's a theme: Star Wars versus Harry Potter. Okay. And I've pretty much collected the smartest and most brightest minds on these subjects. I've uh, purged through all of Lakeland. I found four people that knew a lot about these. At least they told me they did. So it's fine. It's good. It should be fun. Um, I hope. Fingers crossed. Um, and we also have a special guest with us tonight. Uh, the first of the two of them to get to the final round will win bragging rights during the show. And we have a special guest in the back with us tonight. We have Daryl Ward. He is the principal of Harrison School for the Arts. Now, most of our contestants are still backstage or getting into their dress robes while they get ready to play our games, get the pun, dress robes. Anyway. Oh, also, um, I don't know, fun fact, I don't know if anybody else knew this, but this week was actually the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, so that's kind of partially why we're doing both of those things. Ben, can you believe that it's been 20 years? Like, uh, no, not really. It makes me 20? feel old. It makes you feel old. So you I'm older feel than you. really old. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, old. I'm old. You don't have to tell me that all the time. Sorry. It's fine. It's okay. I'm old. It's <laughs> a thing I'm dealing with. Okay, so, so I also want to give a shout out to everyone that's watching at home right now. Thank you so much and continue to answer the questions. As we go through the game and at the end of the game, Ben and I are going to give you a shout out to the person who answers the most questions right. So that's pretty awesome. It's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Clapping is good. That's okay. Yeah. Does that help? Clapping keeps Tinkerbell alive or something. I don't know. Clapping's awesome. Um, now, our first two contestants, these people right here, are going to play a game about unfortunate endings. Okay, we're going to start with them. The first of them to win two games will move on to the final round at the end of the show and earn bragging rights as uh, the coolest person about Star Wars and Harry Potter, whoever wins. First up, we have Alessandra Stillinger. Correct? Am I saying your name right? Alessandra. Alessandra yes. Stillinger. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Clap for it, guys. <laughs> Lots of clapping. Just clap every time I end a sentence, really. That's really <laughs> how I think about it. So, now you are originally from Queens, New York. Anybody from New York? You? When did you move back? Guys, there's a young, young man in the front that claims he's lived in New York before. He's selling me on it, though. He's definitely. <laughs> so, so you're originally from Queens in New York. That's awesome. I used to live in New York myself. I loved it there. It was amazing. It but I've moved back, place. clearly. Um, but you now live in Lakeland, yep. right? Um, and you are the founder of With Love Productions Incorporated? Yep. Is that right? Yep. Awesome. Cool. Thanks for being here. Of course. Thanks for Thanks having me. Thanks for being me. here. Now, her opponent, though, is Tyler Hall. And you are a Lakeland native, so you've never left Florida. You're like a hobbit. I guess. <laughs> Never left a shot. It's like I don't know what Orlando looks like or Tampa <laughs> or like on the other side of the block. The railroad tracks are as far as you go. Um, and you and you work at O'Reilly's. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Welcome and thanks for being here. Now, bef now before we start, Alessandra, you, um, if you, if you had a chance, since we all love sci-fi movies, if you had a chance to have like a dream role in like a sci-fi film or TV show, what would be your dream role that would just make your day, make your year, never want you to breathe again? I mean, it's, I mean, I'd want to be a Jedi. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a Jedi? No kidding. Because <laughs> my, my Hogwarts letter never came, so I'm going to have to be a Jedi. Well, at least you didn't get a howler or anything. That was True. It's okay, though. I'll be a Jedi like my father before me. Okay. 
Is he? No. Is he terrifying? Because that is <laughs> some bad omen there. Uh, okay, and then uh, Tyler, same question. If you could be in any star uh, sci-fi film or TV show, what would you? What would just make your life? Do video games count? Sure. Why not? Okay. Why not? A game series called Halo. Ooh, Master, Master Chief. Chief. Master Chief. He's the one that you never see his face. Nope. He could be anybody. Yep. He could be like an alien. He could be me. He could, he be, could be you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so our first game, the first of you to win, two games, we'll move on to the final round at the end of the show, and our first game is titled... I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> By the way, he says that the most in all the movies, including Indiana Jones. So, in this game, Tan Solo's character for everyone that's like me that doesn't know that. In this game, I will describe a tragic ending to a Star Wars character, and I need you to answer with who I'm describing. So, Ben, can we get an example? So, for example, if we said, lost her will to live and died after giving birth to twins, <laughs> it, this isn't the Sorry. real question. <laughs> it's a reflex or something. But the answer would be... Padme. Padme Amidala. Exactly. So you get it. I think you understand. Yep. Don't need yeah. points for that one. Sorry. Okay, so, does that make sense? Yep. Super. Okay, so we're going to buzz in to answer this one. Um, if you're incorrect, your opponent will be able to steal for the points, and the winner will be that much closer moving on to the final round at the end of the show. Now, the first is Stabbed, by, stabbed on Naboo by Darth Maul. Ooh, Tyler. Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon's correct. What's his last name? Jin. Jin. There you go. Oh. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. Next is decapitated by Mace Windu in the Battle of Genosis. Tyler? Django Fett. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I had to make sure it wasn't the other one. Dude, I'm hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next is also decapitated by Anakin Skywalker aboard Gen Grievous' ship on orders of Palpatine. I hit it. Did she hit it? I was I still reading it. it. Okay, did. go for it. Windu. Who? Master Windu. Mace Windu. No, Count Dooku! Count Dooku! Count Dooku! I said it before he hit it. <laughs> ben, what do you say? I don't think anyone gets a point for that one. Uh, okay, fair. No enough. one gets a point. Okay. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Ambushed by Anakin while fighting Palpatine and thrown out a window. That should be Grievous. What? General Grievous. Ambushed by Palpatine. No. Nope. Say the question one more time. You said Ambushed by Anakin while fighting Palpatine and thrown out a window. You get a chance to steal. Ambushed by Palpatine. Thrown out the window oh. is the most. Oh, you're, you're oh. Like, shame. You're falling apart right there. Oh, my God. Okay. Shame. Start the countdown. Three seconds. I need it in three seconds. I'm sorry. One more time. Say it one more time. So... Should I just say thrown out a window? That's what I should say. Ambushed by Anakin while fighting Palpatine and thrown out a window. I'm drawing a blank right now. Ben, what's the Dang. answer? The answer is Mace Windu. Windu. Mace Windu, guys! That's the answer to he that. got <laughs> chucked out a window. Mace thrown out a window. Good one. Good one. I'm, <laughs> Woo. I'm okay. ashamed right now. This, I'm so this next one definitely depends on which uh, version you watch, for sure. But a uh, shot and missed. Guido. Guido is right. It really depends on which ep which version you've seen, because that changes a little bit. Next is killed by Darth Vader in a duel aboard the Death Star. That was Palpatine that killed him. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Killed I'm looking for a specific person doing a duel aboard the Death Star. Okay, so the duel was Luke above, aboard the Death Star in Return of the Jedi. Who are you trying to find out who died Re here? Repeat the entire okay. clue yeah, for The whole thing. <laughs> Killed by Darth Vader Killed in a duel aboard the Death Star. I definitely, definitely do. Wow. I mean, he kills a lot I of people. I cut corners on that. But this specific way. Okay, Am so I able to answer again? Is that what this is? 
Audience. Because I know what Audience. it is. Uh, did we give Alessandra a chance to steal? Do you know what it yeah, is, you Alessandra? Go ahead, sorry. So killed by Vader. In a duel. In a duel. Aboard the Death Star. Aboard the Death Star. All those Star. words are very important. I want to hit it so I mean, is it the Emperor? No. no. I think we should give Tyler another Audience. shot. Hmm? Audience? Audience? Okay. Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, yeah. God. Obi-Wan Kenobi. For, for, for some reason, I missed the by Vader instead of killed Vader. That's what I did. Oh. So I said Emperor. My bad. Uh, I cut Well, course. in that case, you would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> if it was that question, it would have been right. That's all I'll say. That's my bad. Next, fell into the mouth of the Sarlacc. <laughs> Greetings, almighty Sarlacc. Um, Boba Fett. <laughs> I was like, is that your answer? Uh, Boba Fett's <laughs> correct, yeah. Boba Fett's right. That's correct. Boba Fett. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be here all night. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Strangled to death by Leia. Jabba. Jabba. Oh, that's right. Or Jabba. I, don't, I can't do an impression of him, sorry. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Let's all do that now. Okay, Next. Died of old age at 900. Ah, uh, Sandra. Sandra. Yoda say you. Yoda is correct. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're going to hate me for this one. Oh. Um, sacrificed himself to destroy Palpatine. Tyler. That was Vader. That was Vader. Oh, man. Like a second before you said it, I was like so concerned. Very worried. I felt concerned a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we got two more. <laughs> we got two more. Executed by stormtroopers while Luke wasn't home. <laughs> Uncle Alessandra. Owen and uh, Aunt Peru. Peru. Yeah. Peru. Wow. I didn't think you were going to get both. Good job, guys. That was awesome. All right, this is the last one. Destroyed with the first Death Star when he was too stubborn to leave. Oh. i got to hit it hard enough to where it reacts. That was Grand Moff Tarkin. That is correct. That is right. Yes. All right, excellent. Now, let's go to our quiz master, Benedict Heaps, to see how they did. Ben, how they do? Nick, they both did wonderfully, as always. Uh, but Tyler did win this round. Well done, Tyler. Sweet. That's right. And a special thank you to those of you playing along at home on Facebook. Thank you very much. Sweet. Now, many of us have had that embarrassing moment when we confuse the complexity of, like, blowing up a starship and bullseyeing womp rat, right? Just me? All the time, right? I know. Me all the time. It's in my backyard. Okay, so our next game, our experts are going to play a game about awkward moments during these films. But first, let's check in with how they're doing. Um, so, Alessandra, I <laughs> love that name. You have a beautiful family. I do. You told me one time that you named your son Anakin. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. You did? Mm -hmm. She almost named her daughter Hermione. I sure almost but did. But she didn't, almost. Well, my husband said, heck no. Heck no. <laughs> heck no. Nah. OK. Well, that's awesome. You love Star Wars. I do. You do. You <laughs> also, your family's awesome. That's cool. Thank you. She has a bunch of kids. How many kids do you have? I have three. Three. That's a lot of kids. For me, that's a lot of kids. I have zero. So. <laughs> that's a lot. It's a bunch. Okay, so, and Tyler, you uh, just did something that, was, uh, that I think a lot of Star Wars fans would be kind of, like, jealous of you of, is that you just got your wife to watch all the Star Wars movies for the first time. After seven years. After seven years, guys. Wow. Wow. Finally. Is she here right now? Yeah. That's her, yeah. guys. She just did it. <laughs> she j I, well, yeah. That I was, was the I was idea. Being persistent. I had to stay persistent. <laughs> Consistency is key. Okay. So, uh, how was that when that happened? Was it difficult? It was very, very relieving, I, I guess you could say. <laughs> it was very difficult, though, through the whole time, the whole process. Oh, of it was like her just falling stay, asleep. Just sit, just her stay there. To to, her wanting to leave it's the room. It's going to get good. I promise. Just, the constant questions. <laughs> but not wanting to stay and watch the movies. Of course. <laughs> did, you watch, did you watch it in order or when they, in the order they came out? Four, five, six, one, two, three. Oh, yes. yeah. That's the way to do it, right? That's right. Right? Right? Then, that's the way you do it. 
She yeah. likes to watch it. Is that like an agreeing clap or like not a green clap? That's a green? That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. All right, so. Uh, well, that's awesome. Great. In our next game, we're calling this. Hold on. Wait. She's my sister? Oh, God. Oh, God. Do you say assistant or sister? Sister. Sister. Yeah. That's not She's my sister? <laughs> Ooh. So in this game, sorry, in this game, I'm going to give you an example of an embarrassing moment of a character from the films, and I need you to answer with the character I'm referring to in the question. So let's go to Ben for an example. So for example, if we said that awkward moment when you kiss your brother, the answer we were looking for would be Leia. Because we all hate it when that happens. You know? <laughs> if I had a nickel. <laughs> That wasn't supposed to be out loud, We both Sorry. have sisters. <laughs> he said that. Let's no. move on quickly. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just wanted to settle on that for a while. Okay, so does that make sense? Yep. That makes sense? All right, so please buzz in for this round, and if you're incorrect, your opponent will be able to steal for the answer, um, and now they will be that much closer to the end, uh, the final round of the end of the show. Now, Tyler, you won the last one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> Short-term memory loss. Nope. So you won the last one, so if you win this one, you move to the final round, and Alessandra, you have to win this one, or you have to cosplay a Star Trek character at every Star Wars convention. Sorry. Okay. That's just how it works here. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I would volunteer to be right there to confirm that every time, just saying. <laughs> Everyone's going to not, I don't know, I've never been to a convention before. I just assume that's bad. Okay, so, <laughs> the first one is... That awkward moment when you, re when you try to make good on turning Chewie and Han over to the Empire only to realize Wookiees have very long memories and can choke the life out of you. Who did that one? They buzzed in real fast. Alessandra. Alessandra, sweet. Lando. Lando Calrissian is correct, that's right. We all hate Lando, I wanted to get that one off early. We don't like that guy. That awkward moment when you have to stuff a friend into a dead tauntaun to keep him warm. Tyler? Han Solo. Han Solo's right. <laughs> that awkward moment when you realize Obi-Wan wasn't playing around and now you have no legs. You have no what? Legs. Oh, like these um, things. well, Obi-Wan did that to Anakin, so Anakin. Anakin's correct. There you <laughs> go. No legs. But now I've learned all you do is just go get robot legs. That's how you solve that problem. Easy fix. <laughs> Universal healthcare. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's actually, that's better. <laughs> Number four is that awkward moment when you become an object of worship to a colony of small furry things. 3PO. 3PO? C3PO. C3PO. <laughs> that's what you meant to say. Okay, cool. Great. That was right. Good job. That awkward moment when you realize Yoda carries a lightsaber. Count Dooku. Count Dooku's right. There you go. That was right, guys. That awkward moment when you realize a weird-looking green guy is watching you eat. Tyler. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. I'm just thinking weird looking green guy. Green guy. Because there's so many of them. There's just one. That awkward moment when you try to fight the urge to kill your father, but end up doing it anyway because you're evil. <laughs> Alessandra. That awkward Alessandra. moment when you fight to not kill your father? Fight the urge to kill your father, but you end up doing it anyway because you're evil. Oh, that's, um, well... Kylo Ren or Ben Solo, however you want to describe yeah. it. Yeah, uh, Kylo Ren's, but I have that. That's perfect. <laughs> that awkward moment when you realize you probably shouldn't wear a jetpack all the time. Tyler? That was Django. Are you sure? <laughs> Don't do that to me. Don't do that to uh, me. Sandra, do you want to try? The Bobo? Bobo. Boba. 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 I call him Bobo, too. It's fine. <laughs> Boba's, Boba's correct. That's right. When in, in Jedi, when he hits the thing and then falls into the... Yeah, his uh, jetpack got hit. 
Yeah. And that's what shot him off the ship? Yeah. Okay. That's my tango. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. Okay. That's what I imagine happened. <laughs> okay, that awkward moment when, you, when you're a drink cart on a crime lord's sail bar. Tyler? That's R2-D2. R2-D2 or Ert Dirt. That's correct. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> was that not a good joke? That was a bad joke. Sorry. Okay. Hilarious, Nick. It's all just made up in my head as I'm stuck. <laughs> it's fine. That awkward moment when you realize you forgot about Qui-Gon's lightsaber as you and your torso fall down a reactor shaft. That was Darth Maul. That was Darth Maul. That was Darth Maul. That awkward moment when you realize... Is it my turn? No, I just... I thought you could... Oh. That awkward moment when you realize, <laughs> it's a trap! Oh, I'm not arc bar. Arc, arc bar. The fish man. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's a trap! Right. It's a trap! It's a trap! <laughs> that guy. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nick, who got that one? I stopped paying attention. Alessandra, thank Alessandra. you. Alessandra. Thank she you. She did. You're going to turn into a princess at some point in your life. Heather, I'm a queen, I, feel like, I feel like the name's just... Ooh. It's just savage. Like, what? Nothing. <laughs> Yes. It's just a name. It makes sense. Name your children Alessandra, and they'll be... I don't know. Anyway, so this is the last one. That awkward moment when you realize those were the droids you were looking for. Tyler? That was the Stormtroopers on Tatooine. Yes, it was. It was, it was. I was going to try to get tricky with you and be like, which ones? <laughs> what I mean? Okay, you awesome. Have names. That was awesome. Good job, guys. Excellent. Ben, how did they do? And Nick, as always, both made a valiant effort, uh, but Tyler took home that round Woo! as well. Man. Good game. Good game. Awesome. All right, guys, coming up after this, we will find out which of our experts will play in the final round and be grand prize winners. Um, and it's time to do our Facebook round, so pay attention to the screen. Watch it there. And, uh, or if you're watching on Facebook, watch it just where you are. And then, um, and that's just for you guys at home. Now, you guys are watching Hold On, I Know This at Lakeland TV. We're going to be right back after this quick break. Big deal, and we want to we want to like show that to everybody. Like, just tell all your friends. You can get some of the most remarkable shots any place in Florida, right here in our own backyard. And it's just cool that he's like still out there and doing what he loves. We can teach anybody who is interested in coming out here to help. We can teach them what they need to know. You save Lakeland. You walk the lake here. You come here, and it's a nice atmosphere. And you've seen the swan boats out on the lake. Well, we raise money for Lakeland Volunteers in Madison. Everyone here is so supportive and so encouraging. Anyone who has an artistic idea. It's like a zoo um, in my backyard. The ambiance is just beautiful up here. In downtown Lakeland, it can't get better than this. Never give up. I mean, if they have a dream, they have to, they have to do it no matter what. And welcome back to Hold On, I Know This. I am your voice of reason, Benedict Heaps. And thank you very much to everyone watching at home on Facebook and to our live studio audience here with us tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. And once again, here is your host, Nick Allred. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so very much. We all need someone with an English accent in their lives including myself. Next, we're gonna have our team Harry Potter. <laughs> so grab your wands by the unicorn feathers, guys. We made it to the halfway point. 
I don't think unicorns have feathers. <laughs> Next, our contestants and experts will play a game of limericks. We all know what limericks are, correct? They're songs, they're poems. I'm going to serenade you in a moment. It's going to be great. Um, first, we have Tori Walker. That's you. Me. Not you. That's you. <laughs> um, and you are a marketing coordinator at the Spine Institute of Central Florida. Yes. Thanks for being here. That's awesome. And your opponent. <laughs> you got some fans. Make a fan page on Facebook. Got a fan base. <laughs> and your opponent, Jake Croto, right? Got it. We had like a moment back there. I had to figure out how <laughs> to say his last name. And you are the shift leader at Jay Burns Pizza. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for being here. <laughs> now, before we start, we have to get to know them a little bit. Tori, you've told me that you have danced a lot yeah. in your life. How long were you a professional dancer? Professional Probably dancer. over a decade, I would say. So, not anymore. But so it was like, through my childhood and into my teens. And it was cool. competitive dancing. So, it's hmm. the only really interesting thing about me. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. And Jake, I wanted to congratulate you because you uh, just got married. Yes, you just I got did. Mar you just got married, guys. Yeah. Yay. Right there. A brave man. <laughs> yeah, brave man. That's the one thing that terrifies me. They're both dressed up too. It's Marriage. Like yeah. Can you can you stand up real quick? She's a Gryffindor. They match. Isn't that That's not why. Awesome. <laughs> there's there's nothing I want more than something to match with. <laughs> Go on Tinder. I get to wear me, all the, the vests. It all out. <laughs> Only if someone wears vests with me. Okay, so that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what's it like to be newly married? Is it fun? Is it? Oh, it's a lot of fun. Yes. It is. Okay, good. Because you know, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so um, the first of you guys to win two games will move on to the final round at the end of the show, which is titled Magical Limericks. Okay, so in this game, I will serenade you or try to with beautiful poems about specific characters in the wizarding world of Harry Potter specifically, not, you know, not other wizarding worlds. And you need to just buzz in with the character I'm referring to or describing within this poem. Okay, so Ben, we need an example. For example, if I said, I live out in the woods in a hut. You Ruby don't have is to Hagrid. Well, but half the fun is saying the poem. I'm sorry. <laughs> It is okay. It line. is totally fine. <laughs> Buzzing in early. Guys. Are we allowed to do that? Just kind of buzz when we know. I mean, we're gonna keep things moving. Yeah. Let's yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. Let's That's do fine. it. That's fine. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm so ready. there you go. You don't even need the rest. Let, let's <laughs> okay, go. Okay. Cool. All right. I'll so let you read it. so what, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna say the poem. You can buzz in first, but I'm, I'll come, I'll finish the little serenade and then you'll answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. So does that make sense? Yep. Totally. Super duper. So buzz in for the round if you're wrong opponent will be able to steal, and the winner will be that much closer moving on to the final round. So the first one is, all right, guys. Look, I'm, am I really that bad? I'm less of a jerk than my dad. I played Harry Spoil, just like Crab and Goyle. I'm the number one Slytherin cat. Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy is correct. <laughs> the Marauders consider me weak. Am I a man or a mouse? Squeak, squeak. Ratted on James and Lily. I guess that was silly. And now I'm a one-handed freak. Oh my god, I just had it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, I got this. Do it. <laughs> Can I go? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Peter Pettigrew. Oh my That's god. That's correct. There you go. I swear, I was like, oh, I know this. A wizarding. Oh, yeah, sorry. A wizarding force in my day. I wanted Tom Riddle to pay, but then Snape did me in, and now I'm a has-been. Turns out all along I was gay. Albus Dumbledore. Albus Dumbledore's right. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. It's the only thing that rhymed. It's great, though. It's amazing. It's amazing. He's amazing. He's that an amazing man. Next. The prophet prints nothing but ill of the people I quote with my quill. A bug getting news, Granger outed my ruse, blackmailed me, and told me to chill. Rita Skeeter. That's correct. <laughs> nice. I have a strong urge to expound on the way I was easily downed. In dueling I failed and sailed through the veil. I should have just stayed as a hound. Serious Black. Serious Black's correct. Nice. <laughs> 
On film, I was a strapping young buck. In the books, I walk like a duck. I'm the world's best seeker, but not the greatest speaker. And Hermione, Nernini, I like to date. He doesn't know how to rhyme either. I hit it, but he hit his. You need to, you do it. Jake? It's not fair. The buzzers know all. He hit yeah. it. Go ahead. Um, James Potter? No. <laughs> Tori, would you like to steal? Oh my god, he's from Durmstrang. Um, and his first or last name? <clears throat> Ooh, I know, ooh, I'm ooh, having ooh. another brain fart. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I know there was Fleur de la Cour. Um, I'm oh. literally thinking of Vladimir Putin, and I know that's not <laughs> it's just It's just a younger Victor version. Victor Crumb! Victor Crumb. News correct. Show. There you go. <laughs> I need this. Uh. <laughs> I was literally like, wait, ooh. that's Russia. Okay. That was... <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Okay. You can't script these things. Ready? This is the next one. My hair's pulled up tight in a bun. I turn into a cat just for fun. I don't like student, I don't take students' crap. So sit down, shut your trap, because I've got a classroom to run. He also just hit the buzzer and it didn't buzz. But we you gotta push it. it real hard. Yeah. Do it just for the fun of it. Just Do it. Look, it's it. not working. They unplugged it, I think. Um, well, he hit it, so I'll let okay. him answer. Okay. Professor McGonagall? McGonagall's correct. Let me just make sure it's still plugged in. I'm being your, I'm being your buzzer for you. I'm like, I think it was buzzer. stuck. I just think it was stuck. It's fine. That's so nice. Okay, okay next. It's been like. <laughs> Four points, points for, for Gryffindor. I thought okay. JK thought I was swell. She was bi just biding time till I fell. She ended my life with Lestrange's throne knife. I guess I'll see Rowling. Sorry? Bellatrix? Lestrange? Did you say a knife? I did say both of those words. That is correct. I got it right? No. Dang it! <laughs> no, I thought JK thought I was swell. She was just biding time till I fell. She ended my life with Lestrange's throne knife. I guess I'll see Rolling in Hell. Jake? Dobby. Dobby's that, correct. Dobby's right. We both cried when we read that. Time. We talked about this. Okay. Sorry. Dobby is a free elf. Dobby should not have been killed, so I'm like pissed off about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Okay. If you're, looking for e if you're looking for evil, I'm it. But I really screwed up to wit. I tried to kill Harry, he used love to parry, I instead killed myself like a git. Here we go. Who is Tom Riddle? Ooh. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. Lord Voldemort. That's <laughs> the same right. person. I guess I don't get like poems, like limericks. Like but we'll ask the questions, thank you. Who is Tom? Alright, this is the last one, this is the last one. I'm a red-headed dude with a tood. It's my brother who really got screwed. Snape blasted my ear, but at least I'm still here. It's my twin who is worm food. Oh. Which one? Fred? Tori, would you like to steal? It's gonna be George. George okay. is correct. <laughs> I never remember. I know, I know. Really that. It's twins. Okay, Ben, how'd they do? Oh, uh, well, Nick, they did too well. We need to do one more question. All right. Oh, my God, no. Uh. Is it a tiebreaker? <laughs> this is going to be a tiebreaker. It's going to be one more of these um, poems that I was serenade you with. Actually, yeah. Let's do this because I really like this question. I'm going to ask you one question, and I need you both to give me an answer. The person who's closest will win, okay? I need you to tell me. How many pages are there in all seven books of the Harry Potter series? If you know, go it's like Price is Right rules. Don't worry, it's okay. 3,097. Let me write this down. 3,097. I literally just read this on Facebook like the other day. Oh, Tori, would didn't you like get to? It. You go. I don't count the pages. I read them. I do. Ooh, okay. <laughs> all right, what do you think? What do you say? What's your answer? I'm going to go with. 
I know he got it. Okay, so we, um, I did a lot of research and I found this out. I, can't, I counted all the pages. Um, and we have 495? No, 4,095. Mm. So, if you think about it, it's like a thousand off. Yeah. Pretty close. Mm -hmm. And Jake, that's you. Yeah. Cool. Congratulations, well, Jake. Jake. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so next, our contestants are going to need what you might call a sorting hat. Okay. Um, because we're going to play a game of categories. All right. So, but before we do that, of course, we're gonna get to know them a little bit more. Uh, Tori, do you collect anything specific? Like weird stuff? It doesn't have to be weird stuff. It could just be normal <laughs> stuff too. Yeah, dead thought, no. I don't know. Like, we've, had, we've had someone say um, animal, uh, when you like stuff animals with, with I used tax to padding. Taxidermy. Taxidermy. I used That's to work with a girl who like collected really weird stuff and I thought it was so cool. And I was just saying like, I don't collect anything. Like, Did you live vicariously like, through her? I need to collect her? more stuff. What was that? Did you live vicariously through her? Because you wanted to I just thought it was so cool, because she was always like, oh, I have this gold thing. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, and it was like part of a collection. But I don't think I really like collect anything super. I, I do. I collect like antiques. I go antiquing all the time. That's something like I'm old, into. Old creepy dolls that just like turn <laughs> okay, their head when you're no. out looking at them. As a child, that was one of my it's biggest terrifying. Clowns and creepy dolls. I was like, my mom had all these dolls for me, and I was like, put them in the attic. Because you didn't like Annabelle? That's where they belong. Okay, no. <laughs> I actually had a twin doll, and I'm like, she's creepy. Like, she looked like me, and I was like, no. Okay, that sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds super strange. Okay, anyway, no. so Jake, do yeah, you, I've heard Jake. you like to collect comic books. Is that yes, right? Yes, I love collecting comic books. Do you have like a crazy amount of comic books? Is like your new wife? Terrified and scared that there's too many comic books. Um, actually, <laughs> she has a couple too that we've gotten for her. Like the coolest one I got for her is um, Batman Mad Love, which is known as the best storyline of Harley Quinn. Sounds uh, very. I got lovely. it as a wedding present for her. Romantic. Aww. That's so nice. Wow. You guys. Dirty you guys romance a, a, at its finest. Yes. That's how it works. Now our next game is called. Three is a crowd. Three is a crowd. So in this game, I will give you three different things, and I need you to tell me what category they would all fall into. Uh, some of them are a little specific, so we're looking for specifics here. Um, so let's go to Ben for an example. So, for example, if I said Winky, Creature, and Dobby, we would be looking for house, house elves. elves. Thank you for not buzzing in well this time. I, yeah, sorry. I didn't get that last time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we didn't see it. Sorry. So does that make sense? Yes. So in three things, we need you to tell me what all those three things have in common or what category they would all fall into. Uh, yeah. Buzz in for this round, and the, and if you, but if you're incorrect, sorry, the other person we would have guessed, it's fine. Um, and that person that wins will move on to the final round. Now, Jake, you won the last one because you guessed almost as many pages as uh, the correct amount of pages. So if you win this, you'll move on to the final round. So congratulations, that's awesome. Dory, though, you have to win this one, or I will personally send you a howler. Oh, okay. That would be cool, It's though. not magic, though. It's just a piece of paper. Oh, it's not like And an envelope. Yeah. <laughs> it won't tear it. So it's kind of a bummer. I, tried, I, I learned how to make one the other day, though. It was really cool. It's that like tore origami. Itself? No. Hmm. Well, I tore it up. I just, it just made, <laughs> made it up. It didn't happen. So, again, I encourage everyone on Facebook <laughs> to follow along with this game and answer as many questions as you can. Okay? Text them now. to me. Yes. Text them Sign to language all of us. Them to me. Okay. All right, so first. I can't do that. Fluffy, Norbert, Buckbeak. Jake. Magical creatures? Mm, yep. But I need more specifics. What are all of them have in common? Other Hagrid's than magical creatures. Hagrid's magical creatures or pets. It's perfect. Nice. Yes. We That's like right. They're doing good. Like so far, you're yes. winning. Cool. I thought we were taking turns because you said like he won it. I don't know. I was confused. Well, because he won the tiebreaker. <laughs> Next. One stone cloak. Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows is correct. That's right. Oh, I thought you good. Keep the energy up. Yeah. Yes. Like Swedish, yeah. Welsh, Hungarian. You have to push it. You're, you're pushing it. It's stuck well, now. It's you push it so hard, it's stuck. <laughs> The three dragon types from the Goblet of Fire? Yes, that nice. is correct. I just remember the Hungarian horn tail. We it was just, like the coolest looking We were looking just one. talking about that movie literally earlier. I was like, oh, it's one of my favorites. 
I don't know why I was involved. That's fine. Anyway, so... <laughs> you weren't there. Next is Crucio, Imperio, and Africa Cadabra. I said that wrong. The three Africa deadly uh, curse, like, curses. Did I say that right? The three deadly curses. The three... That's sort of cursed, cursed. Cursed. Come on, you know what I mean? The three... Um, <laughs> I want to say, like, illegal... <laughs> She's getting, she's like hovering around it. Um, I'm gonna it. give it to you anyway. It's unforgivable curse. Yes. Unforgivable. I cannot believe. See, I, I thought it was that. forbidden. Oh, he would have said forbidden. So. He talk a lot. The Star Wars people talk a lot. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just kidding. They're illegal, so whatever. Chaser, feeder, keep. Quidditch. Quidditch. What? Positions. Positions. There we go. I try to say it like Oliver Wood. 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 I'd word. be a chaser, he'd chaser, be a keeper. Chaser, beater, keeper. For sure. That's like his only lines in the first movie, right? Okay. Next is Errol Hermes Hedwig. Jake? All the major owls. Yes! They're named <laughs> owls, but you're right. They're all major owls. Awesome. Let me smack in the window. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys love owls as much as I love owls? I, clap. It's pretty clear. Are we playing the, golf up here? Is that what's happening? I'm just trying to keep myself. Claps. I'm just. Oh, either way. The Fat Friar, the Bloody Baron, and Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. Come on, man. You got it. I don't know. It's stuck now. I can see it. It's totally stuck. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. Those are three of the ghosts that live within Hogwarts. And yes, that is correct. Like of the houses, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they all go to a specific house. Scorpius, Septimus, Lucius. Sorry. I mean, they're all involved in the Malfoy family. They're all Malfoys. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Because Scorpius yeah. is Draco. I have no idea. <laughs> Scorpius is it's Draco's Lu child. Lucius yes. is Draco's dad. And, what and was then the other? Septimus is his grandpa. I just like yep. assumed. It was, weird. It's like, it was like a must. It's like really awesome. bad Lucius. Yeah. <laughs> like evil, evil. Diary, ring, snake. Okay, Jake did it first. Totally I think he keeps whispers. sticking, though. Yeah. He totally keeps sticking. Oh, no, I gave up. No, guess. <laughs> um, those are all three Horcruxes from Voldemort. Yes, that's correct. But not all three, but they're well, three. Well, yeah, yeah, but at least. I'm still giving it to you. Cool. They're in the category. Cool. There we Thank go. Thank you, Emily. Give it up for Emily, you. guys. That's why I brought him. We got a dinger, so we're good. It's really loud, so bam! Just, Be very just knock the heck out of it. <laughs> Sorry. You guys ready? I, want you, I don't want you to miss this one. This one's good. This one's good, guys. This is good. This is good. Remus Lupin, Gilderoy Lockhart, Dolores Umbridge. There are, they're all professors. You want more specific? They're yes. all dark arts professors. That is so right. <laughs> that is so right. <laughs> I just love clapping. Okay, we got two left. Newton Scamander, Albus Dumbledore, Minerva McGonagall. I, this is hard. I mean, they're all professor. They've all been professors of magical creatures. Is that it? I need well, something more specific. Well, I know that Newt specific. Scamander is like a, he does magical creatures. Do you know? Jake, do you know? That's incorrect, by the way. That's not correct. Oh, well, obviously. Do they all get expelled from Hogwarts? No. Because I know Newt. Good this one is yeah. a bit more difficult. Because Newt got exposed. That's what I was this is a, a bit more difficult. Puff. Audience, do we have anybody okay? on Facebook know? Do we know? Okay? I don't think we know this. No. Audience, do you guys know? They're all headmasters. <sighs> when was, oh my god, yeah. McGonagall is currently the headmaster. No, I know. Oh, headmistress. Right. And then After commander. We learned that from a past show. Oh, so nice. This is the last one. Percival, thank you. Percival, Wolfric, Brian. They're all part of Albus Dumbledore's name. They're all his middle names. That's correct. Yeah. All right. Ben, how did our contestants do? They both did extremely well, but Tori wins this round. And so you know what that means. We have to move on to a tie break. Ooh, boy. Let's do the one I skipped before. <laughs> yeah, yes. That's the fun one. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a category, 
and then we're going to go back and forth naming things that fall into that category, and the first one to repeat an answer or say a wrong answer will be eliminated. All right? So now, uh, we rolled a uh, souvenir pair of Las Vegas dice uh, backstage, so the winner of that will go first, and that was Tori. They were from the Las Vegas section of CVS. <laughs> that counts. All right, oh, so shit. the category is modes of transportation used by wizards in the series. All right, Tori, you are going first. Any mode of transportation used by a wizard in the series? So I just say it? Mm-hmm. Um, like... Lip sync it. <laughs> okay, so obviously there's broomstick. Okay, uh, just say stop, one. Stop just say there. One. one at a time. Oh, I thought I was more. gonna list. No, 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 no. Oh, I got like so many in my head. First of you to no, be wrong, loses. Okay. All right, flying car. What was that? Flying car. Flying car. Second Flying movie. car. That's correct. Tori. Um, port key. Port key. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Train. Train. The yes. Hogwarts Express. Sorry. Man. <laughs> uh, what, I said it in my thing. When you like teleport, you don't tele. You don't teleport, but you. Um, the fireplace. Is that a, that's not a fort. Oh, um, the dust. Oh my gosh. What's it called? Literally also, brain fire. You can also pick a different one. Cars? Regular? Like regular I mean, cars, yes. Not wizards magical use actual cars. Yes, yeah, that's correct. They, they gotta Jake. be normal sometimes. All right, wagons. <laughs> Well, they're not. In the first movie, they dragons? had wagons and boats. He's right. In the first movie, they had wagons and boats, and they oh, also wagons. had it in the fifth movie. Don't name all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's all movies, but it's only one vehicle. I think we should count that as a carriage. I think yeah, I'm going to count that as carriage. Or cart. Yeah, car, yeah. carriage. Oh, yeah. That's what you meant. Yeah. You were thinking of. Okay. I'm, all right, Tori, Now I'm thinking of. Were you thinking of the Thestrals? So, Thestrals, that's another one. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, your turn. <laughs> I'm going to go with Buckbeak. I know Harry flies him around continuously, especially in the third movie. That's so specific. Yes. You gotta give it to him. Hippogriff. Yes, that's correct. Okay, yeah. Hippogriffs are right. Hippogriff, yeah. Uh, the, I mean, they were like on boats in the first movie, like, you know, like canoes. Yes, Boat. that's no. <laughs> Come on, dude, you got this. You were really making your ass out here. Oh, the double decker bus. Yes. Yes. Yeah, guys. Getting I can't hard. think of <laughs> Like, I have the one in my head, but I can't think of what it's called because I'm an idiot. Yeah, same here. I'm thinking of, you know, the one where Dumbledore, he comes to get Harry, and then they, they like, go away. They, like, just... Yeah, they just... They I just, just thought like, of it. They just... I'm looking at it. I know what you mean. You know, they just, like, disappear. I think it's disappear. What? They apparate? Yes. Correct. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. Jake, your uh, turn. Okay. The train rail in Gringotts. Yes. Yep. That's yes, that's right. I'm out of answers. <laughs> I'm literally like There's like twenty more. There I'm like, like aware of that. <laughs> Alright, so I need I need, Do I need literally to I could be right? like literally anything with my wand, like no, do I, I need to do it. one more, or? Well, it's Tori's turn, right? Yeah, it's Tori's turn. So yeah, I don't. You got anything? I, I'm. I thought. I. I thought everything was done. I, I, I don't know. So you pass. So you I'm pass? gonna make it a pass. All right. If Jake can name another one, All right. then. Because for me, I got the moving staircases in Hogwarts. <gasps> that's a good one, but it's like you know. I don't think that's actually a mode no? of transportation. Uh, so. They do move them. Yeah. Okay. I, we're gonna I'll count. accept it. Yep, I'll go ahead and accept okay. that. All right. And you know what that means. Jake has won this round. Yay. Awesome. All right. Okay. All right, man. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, so. Find my place now. Where were we? Move stuff around. Okay. All right, so. 
We're going to take a quick break, guys. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. Uh, take a quick break, um, and while they get ready to play the final round, but first, we're going to talk to Daryl Ward, the principal of Harrison, and bring out our special guest, and we're going to talk to him for a little bit. We're going to feature a quick little segment of him on the, sp on the Facebook Live channel and all the incredible work that he does for Lakeland right now. You guys are watching Hold I Know This at Lakeland Live. Thank you so much. It's just a great day. It's something cool for Lakeland to do. And we often talk about wanting to be a cool city, and this is one of those things that will add to us being, I guess the word's not cool anymore, it's hip. Maybe a hip city now in the future. So I'm excited about what the direction we're going and what we're doing. We chose this location because we're hoping this will be a gateway to our design district. Um, the CRA is currently working on redeveloping this area. We're trying to refurbish some businesses that are existing. We're just kind of hoping this spurs development and interest in the area. Uh, we've got our students here. We've got some students from Rochelle and they're working together. Of course, they're taping it off now and they'll, they'll have it painted later on. So it's a great opportunity for our students to see, uh, to take what they've been learning in class, art education, see how that works in the community uh, and, and to, to give back to the community that, that is given to them throughout their art education experience. So we were happy to do it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the city's been great kind of partners with us. Uh, so we're just excited and happy to, to be here and to be a part of it. That's cool that Dr. Ward's here and his wife, Mrs. Ward. <laughs> yeah, they're out here. He's a little bit more relaxed than usual, so that's good in his chill clothing. Thing. We worked in the auditorium and we just had this huge template spread out and we just went with a chalk line and a ruler and just enlarged the image. The measurements, we worked from a grid and then we made it on this big sheet of paper. Well, I think that this is going to just be a really interesting and, and cool marker in our community of a city that cares about and is investing in the neighborhoods. This is really a blank canvas this morning. Just a few hours ago, it was just asphalt. You can see that the patterns are just uh, flowing one by one. And of course, you got the paint over here that's being mixed. Our uh, construction and maintenance folks put it together. They're mixing it right now. Of course, there's a mixture again of paint and sand for safety. This is the brains right here. This is where they figured it out. This is what I'm talking about, science and art coming together. So uh, I think we even coined a new term, sci-art. We got together early on in the planning stage because yep. I knew that if it, if it could be done, Beth could figure out how to do it. And Josh Steele, our other visual arts guy as well, helped execute this. So the oh. students deserve a lot of credit. There's no question at all, at all about that. However, these people also are unsung heroes because the students just don't magically figure this stuff out on their own. And so we're really blessed to have uh, such a great staff. And I appreciate Josh and Beth for coming out here in sweltering heat and, uh, <laughs> and doing something that talk, that shows the power of art in community. It's a really cool stuff, and I'm proud of them. But it was awesome. It was really well. Really yeah. well. We had so much fun. It's really nice to see the art community blowing up. Like all the students out here, they had a blast. It was really, really cool. And all the, the kind of communication and teamwork that we had with the kids working together to get this big project done. Yeah. It's really been amazing to be a part of. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Through the CRA, um, we've talked about some other areas that we'd like to do it. We also know the city has thrown around some other ideas for different intersections. So this is kind of the test project to see if we want to do it in other places. But it turned out really good. So I think there's some buzz on doing some other ones as well. Class dismissed. Welcome back once again to Hold On I Know This. Thank you, thank you. This is Lakeland TV's Hour of Puzzles, Word Games, and Trivia filmed in front of a live studio audience. I am Benedict Teeps, and here is your host, Nick Allred. Thank you, guys. For the break, before the break, we found out who our winners were, and congratulations to them. Um, Would they you like to know way. who they were? Do you know who they I are? Know. I am very well aware of who they are. I know were. who yes. they are. Who are they, Ben? All right, so the winners of our Facebook question were Silvana 
and Kristen. Well oh. done. Only two who got it right. Now, we do have a special shout out, however. We have the funniest on Facebook, and, uh, and that superlative goes to Ginny. Thank you, Ginny, for Thanks, being Ginny. so funny. This is great. All right, well, in a little bit, we're going to figure out who's going to win tonight's games. But first, we're going to introduce someone who's come to visit and talk to us a little about what they're doing. Um, please welcome our special guest, Mr. Daryl Ward, principal of Harrison School for the Arts. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. This is good stuff. It is good stuff. I found, you know what that's cool about this? You got Doritos in the green room back there. <laughs> so. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> good stuff. It's good. It's good. Well, can you thank go wrong you. With Doritos. Never go wrong. You get a little bit of, like, little orange. I didn't eat any because I knew I would be live. And yeah. Because every time I do that, I get, like, it's everywhere. Um, and it's a mess. But thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'd really do appreciate it. Um, the first time I met you was when I was in high school. A long, a whole little Harrison a long, thing going on right now. A long, here. long, yeah. long yeah. time ago, Ben and I were in high school, and we, um, we knew this fella, and he was our assistant principal, and he was just as tall. Yes. You know, might be taller now. Might be, might be taller to me, because I was short. I was little. Um, but now you are the principal of Harrison. Right. You have, you have made it up the ladder. I have. And you are now the top dude there, and everyone likes you still. Well, they, well generally speaking, yes. <laughs> we liked him. We thought you were great. Yeah. We thought you were an amazing person. Like you related with us, and it, you didn't feel us make us feel like we were doing bad stuff. You knew we were, but you were doing bad stuff. But you didn't make us feel <laughs> like we were. Yes. It was good. It was good. Now I've done some research. I've looked you up a little bit on the Google. Oh, on the internet. On the internet. <laughs> yeah. And you, you know a lot of stuff. You you <laughs> were you studied education curriculum and instruction at USF. Right. In educational leadership at USM, which is in Mississippi. I did go there. And you studied uh, English with an emphasis <laughs> in creative writing at Florida State. That is correct. All of those are correct. Emphasis. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, can you tell me why? Because I'm sure you have a lot of reasons. But why is education such a big part of your life and why is it so important? Like, what makes you passionate about this? Well, stuff? it. I often say to people that in my, you know, you're getting personal here. Mm -hmm. I say that there are there are um, very few things that really can change people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and I in my life I've seen three things that do that: uh, education, religion, and art. And I'm fortunate to be in a position where I get to be at the intersection of two of those, education and, and art, at an art school. Cool. Uh, because I've seen how it makes a difference in students' lives. And mm -hmm. so uh, I've been, I've been uh, doing that. This next year will be my 30th year in public education. I'm passionate about public education. Um, so and it's because it, it has given so much to me and, and to my family. My, my wife is an administrator as well and, a, and an educator as well. Um, so our, our children have grown up in that, and, and it's made a difference in our lives. And so uh, I, I want to I give back to that. And so education has been, uh, has been something that truly is a passion of mine and That's will continue so cool. to be. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so awesome. And, and your wife, I know, is the principal of Rochelle. Rochelle School for the Arts. That Power is correct. Power couple, yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. It's like. So she's at Rochelle. I'm at Harrison's. Really, really interesting dinner conversations. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. That's it's like where are we going to put the cameras now? Yeah, you know, it's yeah, like where. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, so, I saw. Okay, because huh. I, I really am excited about this. Um, I saw that you wrote a rap for Harrison's graduation. Yeah, that's right? kind of gotten a lot of traction. Uh, so, I saw it. It was so cool. It was super neat. Well, and it, it's kind of you know how those things. I don't know that I would call it had, having gone viral or anything, but it, it has taken but on a life did. of its own. Um, and it, essentially, uh, the students this past year were a very special group of students to me. They, they were freshman students when I was a freshman principal. So, uh, so they, I had, they were my first four years of students, and, they, and, and so they meant a lot to me. And every year at graduation, I do a kind of a, a principal's remarks. It's my last time to speak to them as their principal, because after that, they're not going to listen to me. It's an emotional day. Um, yeah, and so I thought this year, you know, they're, they're young. They're the Hamilton generation, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they, they do this hip-hop rap thing. Um, so, and, and that's not really, that's not really my thing, 
not really? be able to tell that. But, uh, but I thought, you know, I'll do it in that form for them. And so I took the same remarks I was going to tell them about things I thought that were important for them to know. Mm -hmm. And then I, I wrote it in a rap and I wrapped it and the rest everyone was, cried. Everyone, everyone it applauded. Was intense. So it, yeah. Yeah, it went well, cool. I was curious if you had like prepared something today for us. For Harry Potter and Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Well, let me see what I can do here. OK. All right. <laughs> All right, let me see what I can do here. Um, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Star Wars, Harry Potter. OK, OK. So the first story is about a battle in the stars. So sit back while I attack with my intergalactic bars. So far, OK? So We're far, good so great. far? All right. It's just checking on you. A Death Star looms in a planet's destroyed, and it all got started with a message from a droid. All right? All right, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit, okay? There's Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker. Don't forget Han Solo. He's a real smooth talker. There's Yoda and the princess and all of her haters. Oh, did I mention that her daddy's Darth Vader? <laughs> now, on the other hand, in that other land of wizards and mortals and nine and three-quarter portals, our boy grew up with the Dursleys. I call them the Worsleys till they figured out that he got game. Ooh. <laughs> who knew he'd be sought after, or Ofo fought after by he who must not be named. Whoa! Yes. Now, they play their sports on flying brooms, they hang around in haunted rooms, the boy who lives will bring the boom, it's dark and light, it's day and night, dropping spells like quick retorts. I'll end my time with one more line, it's hard to rhyme, Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> I could not have expected something better than that. That was amazing. Wow. I got kind of chills after that. Yeah, guy. Well, it just it me? Just me. me chills too. But it's Woo! Different. Wow. Okay. Well, that was amazing. So it was I'm a similar kind of thing at graduation. Did you just like make that up? Absolutely. <laughs> right off the cuff. <laughs> Don't just pull that out of your sleeve and just... Well, that was awesome. I'm Thanks. so glad you I'm did glad that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was amazing. So we're delighted that you're here. I've invited you here to play a hold on. I know this challenge. Would okay. you like to play this challenge? I'd love to play the challenge. Awesome, super. Now, if you do well enough in this game, you will win a prize for a audience member. All right. Now, the prize um, is some tickets to go see a show at Harrison School for the Arts. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it is Thoroughly Modern Millie. Thoroughly Modern Millie, That's our fall next. musical. It's not about Star Wars, not about Harry Potter, but it, it does have. It could be. But it does have tap dancing. The Star Wars version of, of the tap yeah. dancing, when they tap danced in it. Did they tap dance in it? I, I thought they that. did. I'm that pretty must sure have been they the did. the second three movies I didn't I, watch. <laughs> I totally thought that. It was in the new one, I thought. I thought it was. Anyway, so, uh, okay. So, the game, if you win, you will get a Lakeland Live Magical eight ball for yourself. Magical eight ball. I will it's be able to magic. make decisions as a principal with a magic eight ball. <laughs> I'm trying to just help. Should just... I suspend you? Maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. I'll keep shaking it till I get the answer. Uh, that doesn't work. <laughs> Which is pretty much how those things work anyway. That's right? pretty much how it works. Should I go out with Janie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk tomorrow, yeah. you know? <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm going, and if you win, you'll win a Lakeland Live Magical 8 Ball, and you will win an audience member at Lakeland Live Magical 8 Ball and tickets to go oh, see the shows of Harrison. Right. That's a lot of pressure. I could, can I do a rap instead? Because I. <laughs> another one? You can do know, another one? Put me on okay. The like that. Ben, who is Dr. Ward or Mr. Ward? I always think you're a doctor. Either way, I am a doctor. Dr. I, I don't Ward. I have any access to meds, but I am a doctor. Dr. Ward. <laughs> uh, ben, who's Dr. Ward playing for tonight? All right, everyone get your tickets ready, please. Ooh. A lot of pressure on me. Some people don't have tickets. Oh, they came from the door as you came oh. in. Oh. Oh, you missed out. Sorry. Oh, they should have still given you tickets. All right. I'm sorry. All right, look at your tickets, everyone. See, Ticket yeah, number yeah. zero seven three. Hi, right, Anita. All right, yeah. I think that's a lot of people right now. <laughs> zero seven three one zero one. Yes. All right. Jeannie. Jeannie comes to every show anyway. All right. Congratulations. All right. Okay. All right. So if you do well enough, and she knows get... me, so now I'm really under pressure. Yeah. So it's very 
pressure full of things. Okay, anyway, so are you ready? I, yeah, yeah. All right, so this game's going to be a good game of, a game of categories where I will say something, and I need you to tell me which category it falls into. So we're familiar with this game. It works, makes sense. The categories are Star Trek episodes, heavy metal bands, or top-selling sci-fi novels. I mean, I'm not going to be able to distinguish the difference between those three. Me neither. <laughs> I couldn't either. All so, right. there's eight of them, <laughs> and if you do well enough, All right. you're going to win some people with some and get your own Lakeland Live at Magical Eight Ball. First is A Taste of Armageddon. A Taste of Armageddon. Is it a heavy metal band? I do band? not believe it's a heavy metal band. Star Trek episode or a sci-fi novel? I'll go with sci-fi novel. That is actually a Star Trek episode. Uh. It's one when Captain Kirk was still in there. No. The next one, so far. It's okay. You got seven left. Good. Lots. So you got lots of good chances right Okay, now. good. The next is The Ruins of Beverast. I'll go with sci-fi novel. I thought so, too. Um, but it's actually a heavy metal band. They're from Germany. Wow. I know, right? It's all seemed very pl pro uh, pro probable, plausible. Yeah. Next is The Savage Curtain. The Savage Curtain. I will go with sci-fi novel. It's a Star Trek episode, guys. That's what it is. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We still got five left. We're okay. We're okay. We still got lots of chances. And you told me this was easier than the original thing you were going to do. I have lots of versions of the games, guys. Going Postal. Going Postal. That's got to be a heavy metal band. Do you want to guess again? I, okay, so <laughs> maybe a sci-fi novel? Yes, it's a sci-fi oh. novel. My mic fell off. Yeah, good. It still works, though. It's fine. Next. Okay. The Devil in the Dark. The Devil in the Dark. Um, Star Trek episode. Star Trek episode is correct. Star Trek episode <laughs> is right. You know, I have to say, I watched a lot of Star Trek. I, quite frankly, I didn't even know they had titles. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't know that either. They I found they didn't out this show afternoon. them at the beginning, did they? Did they? Uh, they did. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I did my research. I just looked up a few. Mm. Next is the... Silmarillion. That's a sci-fi novel by J.R.R. Tolkien. It is. It is. Wow. Don't make me go all Middle Earth on you. <laughs> I might, just to get another rap. I don't know, maybe. The Children of Bodom. The Children of Bodom. You see, that's one that really could go either of those three. I know. Oh. It's very confusing. Uh. I'll go with heavy metal band. Yes. Yeah. They're from Finland. They're from Finland, huh? Finland. Yeah. This is the last one. All right. The Moon's Harsh Mistress. The Moon's Harsh Mistress. I will rule out heavy metal band. Um, That's an excellent idea. Um, <laughs> and I'll, I'll go with Star Trek episode or sci-fi mm, novel. Sci-fi novel is correct. There <laughs> you go. It's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll go with either one of those. Probably the one that it is. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. Novel's correct. All right. Awesome. That was a solid comeback. That was amazing. Well, you know. You really had me worried for a moment. Yeah. And then you got all the hard ones somehow. That was awesome. Yeah. Well. So, that was awesome. Ben, how do you do? Oh, he did very well, Nick. Uh, out of those eight, he got four and a half right. <laughs> four and a half wow! Right. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's, right. The, that's the story of my life, actually. <laughs> So that means that uh, the audience member will be going home with a magic eight ball and some tickets to Harrison's future performances. All right. And give it up for Emily. She's a great stage hand and stage manager tonight. All right. Everybody should check out the performances at Harrison Arts Center. They're amazing. They're awesome. Um, as soon as possible, actually. Well, not right now. We're not, actually not in school, but yeah. If you come there, to, if you come there. This week, we won't be there, but... That's why he's here. That's why he's yeah. here, to make sure... Um, don't go to school right now, yeah. when they come back, okay? Right. Um, but also, check out the awesome new Design District Gateway that's downtown, that was uh, in, the, in the clip. Yeah. That is the coolest thing. I actually went over it the other day. Yeah. Just drive back and forth over Just that intersection. Drive back and forth, wear it out. Okay, awesome. But thank you so much, Mr. Ward. And guys, let's give it up for Daryl Ward. Thank he's you. awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you much.
We're going to be right back after this break to figure out who's going to win the show tonight. You guys are watching Hold I Know This from Lakeland Live. Thank you so much. The owners here at Belle Visage, Mark, Gina, and Shelly, they make each appointment, each client have an experience. Walking in the door here, you are welcome, you are immediately greeted with a smile, um, you feel comfortable, you don't feel judged, you don't feel like you're in a medical spa. You're, you're walking into a beautiful, friendly environment and everybody gets an experience when they come here. Our mission is to provide great services. That's a mission that most businesses in this industry would have. Ours is a little different in that we try to approach this from more of a family feel, where uh, when someone comes in, they're a client, and by the time they come back again, they're, they're part of our family. On a large scale, women put themselves last, and then we feel guilty if we're gonna spend money on a pedicure, or we feel guilty if we're gonna buy ourselves a new dress. And so I wanted this very much to be a place where women could feel like they deserve this because we do. We put very personal pieces of ourself, you know, pieces of furniture and, and the beautiful tin ceiling. So we did everything to create this historically uh, pleasing and accurate space that's just beautiful, that makes people feel beautiful when they come in. So with Bella Gives Back, it gives people an opportunity to nominate somebody that they feel is deserving of a service that they may or may not sign themselves up for. We look for people who, um, by whatever reason, fate has bestowed upon them a crisis in their life. And for example, this past year in 2016, we did have a lot of cancer victims. They weren't going to be survivors. Um, and, and so we tried to provide them an opportunity to escape, nothing more. We did their hair, we had lunch, we provided services from a, something as simple as a spray tan to um, some scar removal so they would look good for pictures with their kids. Um, we would like to start working with some other local charities to find these people who can then go to our website and nominate themselves. Uh, they can nominate someone else uh, that would be deserving of having something special done for them. All right, guys, we're back to the live taping of Hold On, I Know This, from Lakeland Live. I'm your host, Nick Allred, with Quizmaster Benedict Teeps. All right? I'm just gonna say this right now. I feel like my hands are very tiny. <laughs> they look small now. <laughs> Big sleeves. I just had to get off that my chest, I'm sorry. Um, congratulations to our two winners that have made it back. Tyler Hall and Jake Croto. Proto, yes. And Ben, do we have Facebook winners? Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, now um, we have uh, Kristen has answered a lot of questions on Facebook. Oh, Kristen. Um, her and Silvana, as we said, answered the Facebook question correctly. Um, Kristen was the first person to answer that question correctly as oh, okay. well. Okay, well, good so, job. So special uh, congratulations to you. Yep, that's about it. Awesome. Great. Facebook good update. Front. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. I'm just gonna clap until people clap. Um, okay, so now it is time to find out our winner. We're bringing back the two of these strapping young bucks that might walk like a duck. I don't know. Hopefully not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why did nothing, nothing's landed tonight? It's okay. Anyway, so we're gonna bring you guys back. We're gonna play the final round. I'm gonna let Benedict Heaps, our quiz master, take it away. 
All right, so now we will see how far your sci-fi knowledge can take you. All right, so we have devised a quiz where we will include three words maximum, so that's either one, two, or three words, describing a popular science fiction film, not necessarily Harry Potter or Star Wars. Yeah. Actually, not Harry Potter or yeah. Star Wars, either of them. Necessarily not those two. <laughs> All you need to do is answer with the movie that we are talking about, okay? So, for example, if we said deep core drillers, the answer we'd be looking for would be Armageddon, okay? All right. Here's some yes. That's right. <laughs> Makes sense? All right, you so now... Have you both seen that movie? I nope. Ooh. Okay. You That's I'm right. Really That's right. Show me all the Resident Evils. So, uh, so this will be a buzz in round. Yeah. First person to buzz in will answer the question. Um, and uh, if you are incorrect, your opponent will have a chance to steal. All right. And now the winner will get their very own Lakeland Live Magical 8 Ball and a ticket pack to a future Harrison School of the Arts performance from our special guest, Dr. Principal Dr. Ha Daryl Ward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready to begin? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah. Good. Let's do this. Let's test the buzzers real quick. Well, hold on, it resets. Now go, Jake. There we go. Cool. All right. Awesome. All right, question All number one. <laughs> Buzz in when you know it. Autobots versus Decepticons. Transformers. That what is was correct. That? Into the mic? Transformers. That's correct. There we go. Even <laughs> more correct. All right. Alien, phone home. E.T. Correct. Yeah, go ahead. Don't be shy. Raptors are back. Jake? Jurassic Park. Correct. Jurassic Park School? My brother would be so ashamed right now. Uh, <laughs> Agent nope. J. Men in Black? Correct. Oh, oh come on. Sorry. Romulans. Star Trek. Correct. I do that. Good one. My dad loves Star Trek. The One Ring. <laughs> That's Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is correct. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. The three laws, or laws. <laughs> three seconds. No one? The three Audience. Laws. iRobot's oh. correct to this young oh. man over here. Okay. You robot. Audience gets one good. point, guys. <laughs> There's no prizes, though. Sorry. Sorry. Just bragging rights. Just bragging rights, really. Suck. Next. The DeLorean Motor Company. Tyler. Back to the Future. Correct. Yes. Favorite movie ever. Heat Vision and Mud. Oh. Okay. Yes. You, you locked it up again. <laughs> there we go. Tyler? It's a predator. Correct. <laughs> Sarah Connor. Oh, no. Alien. What? Wait, no! Dang it, let's terminate. Tyler? I'm Bach. Terminator, bro. Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, How do you not know the line? Uh, <laughs> I'm so I clearly have only seen Harry Potter, so. <laughs> My dad would be so upset right now. Next I up. The same way. It's okay. Primates rule. Tyler. That's Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes is correct. I'm sorry. I'm this so one? sorry. <laughs> Alien killing germs. Grease. Oh. Is it the new movie Life? No. Okay. 
don't know. The one with Ryan Reynolds? It, like, it just came no. out. Okay. I don't yeah. know how new we were going with this thing. That's incorrect. You said alien killing germs? Alien killing germs. You have fun. So it's like describing the germs. Not yeah, 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 yeah. Have, have fun. Three seconds. Audience? War That's it. Right. Audience oh doing two. God. They got two Wait, so far. That was Audience germs killing aliens. Two that was germs killing aliens. All right, guys. Uh, we have, yep, you're right. We have <laughs> three more. You ready? Potatoes on Mars. Tyler? Whoa, why did this? Uh, oh, wow. Whoa. It's the one with Matt Damon. It's the one with Matt Damon. It's the one with Matt Damon. He grows the potatoes from poop. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I remember it? Isn't it just called Mars? I thought it was just called Mars. I really thought oh, it was no, called Mars. Okay, well, let's... The Martian. Um, the, yeah, the Martian. There, there, we go. there you go. I don't know if I deserve there, that. There we you were, go. like, tiptoeing toward it, so we'll give it to you. I don't know I why I just the, I think it was the that. poop that had it. The poop. That's what it was. <laughs> Stole the movie. I don't know why I with this, but I did. <laughs> Next. Four stones. Seconds? I know. I've, there's five so far. <laughs> Audience, do you guys want to help them out? The fifth element's correct. Oh, I've never seen it. Last okay. one. Makes sense. Cyborg police officer. Tyler? Robocop. Robocop's Robocop. correct. All right, Nick. How did our contestants do? Well, of course, they did wonderful. Of course. Um, of course. Of course, always. Uh, it was a close game, right? That's awesome. But it looks like we do have... What was it? Audience almost... You guys almost won. Yeah, almost. Like, it's close. Uh, so, you guys did really well. You guys did really well. Congratulations, though. We do have to say goodbye to Jake. I'm sorry. Tyler is our grand winner. Oh, Tyler. Do we have Facebook prizes? Or not prizes, but shout outs? Uh, same shout outs before, no new shout outs right now, but I just want to thank everyone who is following along on, on Facebook Live. Thank you for participating. Thank you for watching, even though you couldn't be here. We do appreciate it very, very much. And also, a very special thank you to our live studio audience. Thank you, guys. Guys, that's our show, guys. That's it. Do you guys have a good time? Thank you so much for playing along on Facebook and the audience, especially you guys. Thank you so much. For more information, go to Facebook or come see us live and or to be a contestant if you want to. Go to lakelandlive.com forward slash hold on. Yes. And I would like to thank our Facebook audience just like Ben just did from home. Our audience that's with us right now because you guys are awesome and you came in and you left your home and you're here. You drove here and you're here. And um, I would like to thank our awesome quiz master, Benedict T. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Well, I would like to thank our puzzle writer and the creator of Hold On, I Know This, Nick Allred. <laughs> Beautiful. It's not quite a curtsy, but it's close. Anyway, um, and thank you so much for our home, Studio B, for being here. So we could be inside of this place. That was and the hardworking staff and production crew of Lakeland TV. Yes. I would like to also thank our sponsors, Bella Visage and Linkster's Tap House. Um, also, for everyone that's still here, if you guys want to join us for the after party afterwards, go find Shane in the back by the photo booth. He's right there with his hands up, waving around. He's the English guy. Um, to see us at the after party afterwards. But this was Lakeland TV's Hold On I Know This and we're going to see you guys next month, all right? Thank you.